Sanya Mosaka. On 702. 702. For the curious. It's now 13 minutes past two. You see how excited I am. I'm ready to get out the gates and get this conversation started. <laughs> wow. The one and only Mama Felicia Mabuza Sattel joins me now in studio. How are you? I am so proud of you. I mean, I'm, I'm in awe <laughs> sitting here. Watching the said, speed and the pace of radio. As I said, when I walked in, feel like my daughter is about to interview yes. me again because that's how close I've become to you. Yes. It is so wonderful to just cast eyes on you. I know that you were honored in the way that you were. You know, when I first heard about this, I was like, yes, of course. Uh We've honored people like um, um, Dr. Richard Maponya. Uh And here you are as well, becoming part of the luminaries. I'm honored, I must admit. Mm. And thanks to Empower Works for um, ultimately realizing the need to honor me before I leave this world. But there's no greater honor, Zanya, than being honored in your own country, but most importantly, in your own backyard. Yesterday, I had an amazing luncheon with young people Mm. that I used to teach uh, ballroom dance to. I'm just happy one of them said, let's remind you that we were 5 to 18 at Zoilo Pili. And the 18-year-olds were closer in age to you. So... And I'm, I'm, I didn't even realize that. <laughs> and here because you are saying what, young people. Yes. <laughs> and, and one of the people, in fact, who also came out of that school was Shadow Twyla. Mm-hmm. And um, mm-hmm. when she called into one of the radio stations um, and she talked and we, we all just cried at that point, brought but back memories. Mean? When I saw them yesterday, mm-hmm. some of them I had last seen in 1974 when I left. When left. Wow. And I cannot but forget the words of uh, the mother of one, Fikile Butelezi, mm. when her mother said, we don't know where children are going to be now from three o'clock to seven o'clock at night. We knew they were with you, Felicia. Mm. And um, we cried so much yesterday. We laughed so much. <laughs> we danced that hired uh, uh, <laughs> playground there. We were, we were dancing there. Mm. And people are looking at us like, what the heck is happening? I need to post some of those. You but should. we were literally, we just had a little plenary group to what we hope we're going to have a big um, reunion one day. Mm. There were over 150 young people mm. that used to come to that dance school. The whole idea was to keep them out of the streets. Yes. So if that was to happen then, imagine what's going to happen later on. Mm. I'm just so excited about bringing them together even on Thursday, to be there when I'm being honored because I stand on their shoulders. I got to where I am today because of those young people. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. What a legacy because you've done so much in your career. So, so much. It spans over two decades. When you think of becoming the very first woman, Mm -hmm. a black woman, Mm -hmm. to host a talk show that built this nation, like, till this day, as young as I was then, I can Mm -hmm. still remember Mm -hmm. the issues that you were tackling, Mm -hmm. the mood Mm -hmm that permeated, that Mm -hmm. just leapt at me through the TV that you were able to create with that studio audience, with being fearless to Mm -hmm. tackle and go to these different subject matters that South Africans needed to deal with. And look at where we are today. We're still grappling with the same things, but we didn't keep the conversation going with the same spirit. But you're keeping it on a different level. In fact, I've been mentioning you in most of the interviews that I've been having. When I hear young people like yourself saying, you passed on the baton, Mm. you were traveling on a gravel road, we are now traveling on a smoother road. That's all I wanted to do, to make sure that as I pass on the baton, those who come and follow can travel on a smoother road. And I'm happy to see that that is happening. All I ask of the young people who are now really on social media to also use it to help educate, empower, Mm. inspire others, make use it so productively because you have a bigger stage. I see all these followers that you guys have. You have huge numbers. Mm -hmm. So using that to really help uplift others rather than make them envy, let them admire and 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 um, try to be what you are doing and emulate you. Yes. You know the other day I was looking at your um 
you know, you post and mm-hmm. you always leave such inspiring and heartwarming posts because it's always in relation to moments in your life, mm-hmm. to your family, That's your husband, true. your daughters, mm-hmm. you know, this, mm-hmm. so you get a sense of the warmth that surrounds you family-wise. Mm-hmm. And then there was the surprise one about your mom, mm-hmm. your late mom, Olga Williams. Mm-hmm. And even the the caption was, was so moving. You said that your mom used to affirm herself mm-hmm. all the time. You grew mm-hmm. up watching mm-hmm. and she would affirm herself. And as the adage says, we need to role model behavior to our children. That's you affirm true. yourself, and now you're you teaching. You cannot your, be your, what you cannot see. Yeah. Yes. So you're, you're you're teaching your 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 glam baby. Yeah, my glam baby. <laughs> <laughs> to also affirm herself. Uh huh. What are these affirmations? These affirmations, unfortunately, I first came back home in the 80s for that matter. I remember I used to do a jazz show on Radio Bob and I used to say the lady with a touch of class. And I believed I had a touch of class and I wanted people to know that this little young girl from the dusty, daring, dangerous streets of Soweto believes in herself. But they were misinterpreted for arrogance then. But today people are seeing them a little different. I teach my grandbaby to wake up every morning, look herself in the mirror and say something Something that's going to make her feel good. I feel good about myself. I, I, my fam- famous one normally is the bees. I'm bright, I'm brave, I'm bold, I'm beautiful, I'm blessed. It is so important that you stand in front of that mirror and say that to yourself. Mm. When you walk out of the door, whatever negativity comes your way will never even affect you if you believe in what you've said about yourself. And that's how I feel about myself. I never leave the house without looking good just in case I bump into somebody (laughs) I know and each time I'm bumping into somebody I know I mean I was uh, in Atlanta the last time I was going to the gym I know I'm not supposed to do this but I put makeup on before I go into the gym because I don't know I'm going to bump into and I was talking to one of my partners in Dabanzele and this uh, young guy stood at the door said wait a minute Mm. I know that voice Mm. Felicia is it you and I turned (laughs) and they says what are you doing here I said I'm coming to the gym and he says with makeup I said yes and says let's take a selfie I said see (laughs) if I'd taken the selfie with you not looking good you'd be Putting on, on social media and you tell Shrashui that Unyabile <laughs> 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 yeah. So but that's one reason. Dress the way you want to be perceived. Mm-hmm. Dress the way you want to be addressed. I get to the airport and guess what? I get the best treatment ever. I go to the grocery store. I'm not dressed up, but I'm looking good and I'm always getting a compliment. Why are you always smiling and talking to everybody make everybody feel important yeah because you never know what they're going through Mm -hmm. comfort everybody smile a smile is the most important thing to wear i could wear the chanel the felicia i wear but guess what if i'm not smiling they don't look good yes Mm -hmm. and you know that now that i I think about it i I don't think i've ever seen you put a foot wrong Mm -hmm. whether it was on that show when you first came on it in the red suit uh, and the (laughs) my favorite hairstyle your hair oh it's it's red your favorite color (laughs) you know the haircut and all never ever ever put a foot wrong (laughs) When did image, and I'm not saying image in the right kind of sense, Mm -hmm. yes, when did it first become uh, important because you were modeling, you were on the pages and covers of magazines, Mm -hmm. and it continued to be so. Not at any point did you think, I know, I'm no longer that age, so I'm not going to uh, try anymore. What's his name? Karl Lagerfeld. Yeah, he said, the minute you start wearing a track suits out of your house means you're you're really tired Uh-oh. you're tired of life yeah, you, but I don't <laughs> want to ever look that I want to be like Aretha Franklin when I go I want to have that red outfit with the red high heels the blue outfit and then what was the last one she wore a gold outfit so I want to be remembered the way I was. And it's not about superficiality. It is a lot to do with really honoring people too with your presence. Mm-hmm. Um, there was a gentleman who wrote a book, John T. Malloy, Dress for Success. And that was the time I started my way into corporate America. and. Um, he was telling us the truth. Yes. You, you are not going to be taken seriously if you don't look the part or if you don't look the position that you are uh, 
trying to apply for. Mm. I never go into a plane not looking right because I don't know who I'm going to be sitting next to. I got my two jobs, high positions, on the plane, in the Delta Sky Room, in the SAA Sky Room, whatever it's called now, (laughs) Voyager Sky Room, whatever. But that's where the negotiations take place. And I know people say, I want to be comfortable when I travel. I understand you. Two, two hour flight, come on, man. Mm-hmm, Why can't mm-hmm, you look right? Mm-hmm. Yes, there's a 16, 18 hour flight that I just took. I'll walk on the flight attendants at SAA and bless their hearts, were so warm. I looked the part, they treated me properly. And when it was dinner time was over, I changed into my sleeping gear and I was fast asleep. Mm-hmm, was, mm-hmm. When I woke up, Quickly Listen went to up. the shower, brighten up, and there we are. You treat it the way you look. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, we live in a very superficial society that addresses you the way you look. Well, you always that touch of elegance, touch of class, every time, every single time. Well, you are going to be honored with a portrait. That's right. A portrait of yourself. Have you seen it? I have not seen it, Lord. I cannot wait. Yes, because uh, it, it can go two ways. Yeah. You can either love it, love uh-huh. it, adore it immediately, you want it at the entrance of your home, or you might not. I, I hope it looks like the Michelle Obama one that is attracting so much attention yes, yes, in yes. Washington. So... Uh, <laughs> And a woman that I admire Mm -hmm. very much, another woman really that I admire was Winnie Mandela. It's her birthday Uh, tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow, Marks. Happy birthday, Winnie. We love you. I wanted that woman's beauty. I wanted her courage. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be as impactful as she was. She says, make a difference. And maybe we should also think about making a difference on Winnie's birthday. Absolutely. Well, today, the city of Johannesburg uh, uh, gave her the keys to the city posthumously. Uh So the political parties were were talking and just reflecting on this moment. I saw one of the grandchildren also Mm -hmm. uh, uh, speaking earlier on in uh, the Johannesburg legislature. So an incredible figure, in fact. You unlocked... Or you gave us an opportunity to get a glimpse into her heartbreak Mm -hmm. through the conversation, Mm -hmm. the interview that Mm -hmm. that you had Mm -hmm. with her. Mm -hmm. And it was great to see those clips coming back, being used um, from that archive, Mm -hmm. from the interviews that Mm -hmm. you had done all those years ago. No, she was an amazing soul. Um, When she passed on and the day of her funeral, Mm-hmm. I remember one of my pleas, my prayers were, Winnie, please just open your eyes for just two seconds and just see what South Africa is doing for you today. As people were lined up in the mm-hmm. streets, as that stadium was full, people singing. Uh, unfortunately, that's, yes. she could not. Yes. But I'm looking forward to it. and. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing all my folk in the the township come out and let us come and sing. Yesterday we started singing the songs that we used to dance to. We never dance to songs without a meaning. Mm. Reach out and touch somebody's hand and to hear those young people saying to this day when we meet each other, we still reach out and touch. Uh, the the other song that we used to dance the cha 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 to was say it loud bang bang I'm, I'm black pr- and I'm proud, proud. Uh, and I sang one for you <laughs> one time Nina Simone's yes. uh, song so those are the songs that mattered the whole idea then was to te- conscientize them mm. because I was somewhat li- linked with Bus- uh, uh, Jeff Bakwa who also int- introduced me to Steve mm. so. It was a time really for making young people get out of the streets, but more importantly, making them understand who they are and be proud to be black kids. Would you ever come back to live here? You know, I, I, I have a home here, as you know, in mm-hmm. Cape Town. So, yes, I'm in and out of the country. I would love to come back. All I'm pleading for, someone asked me earlier, what do you pray for for South Africa? Yes. I say I pray for the elimination of poverty, which cannot be eliminated in any respect, but we can help. So if you just raise one person, Mm -hmm. I raise just one person, all of us who have the means, the little something, to raise one person, Mm -hmm. we will eliminate poverty. I pray that crime 
really this brutal crime that we're experiencing can be eliminated in some way or other. I pray, Becky, come on now. We brought you back. I know you can do it. <laughs> and just uh, take on these people. these will have a fight these, on your hands. Yeah, these <laughs> people. And I, I speak as one who obviously was a victim at some point. So it, it doesn't matter who you are. It will get to all of us. Mm. And But we can eliminate it. I call again... F- I know people say, stop telling us about Ubuntu. What is it? It's an overused word. But I call for the days. Isn't that sad? Yeah, th- those days when we really cared for each other. We, my generation, fought for political, uh, we fought for the political struggle. We should have fought for both the political and economic struggle, but now we've, and we knew who the enemy was. Today, young people are fighting for economic, the economic struggle. Mm. We don't know who the enemy is, but you guys have a bigger b- battle than we had. Mm. And I think it, it, it is sad in terms of how we've discarded uh, the, the whole philosophy, the notion, the way of life of Ubuntu. Young people don't have time for it. You know, they just feel like they don't have time for it anymore. It's the selfie, selfie age. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> because when they come and say, take a selfie, it's about me, myself, and I. Ours was our age, our, our, us. Mm-hmm. It was all about we, ours, and us. Mm-hmm. Today, me. it is me, myself, and I. Right. Young people forget how they got to where they are today. I repeat, I don't know a family member that is close to me that I have not touched in some way or mm-hmm. other and, and helped. When I, w- w- when I went overseas, I saw young people die in 76. I went to my rector. I said, can we start a scholarship program for South African students? Over 30 of them went through that program. Mm-hmm. One that I'm about to go and meet with right now, Tebe Kalafeng, was one of those young people. Who benefited and from to that. See it's going to be him, so great for him. It's just amazing. And the, the success that he he's, he has now established for himself. Absolutely. And uh, that's what I'm asking. Yes. All of us who have the means make a little difference. Oh, and it must be so rewarding. He'll actually be in conversation with you. That's right. As part of uh, this honor, this award that will be given and to you. And how appropriate, because he knows he, my story. He was yes, like a son. Yes. Tebo would come at any uh-huh. time into my house. <laughs> Same thing with you. He would say, open my doors <laughs> and say, hey, I've just come back from the studio. I'm hungry. What do you have? Yes. And I always had a pot full of food for everybody. That's the warmth that I speak of. Uh-huh. That's the, the the warm, the love that just mm-hmm. radiates that yeah. I was referring to. Uh-huh. Thank you so much. And it radiates in your face. I'm watching you right now. I'm, I'm trying to concentrate, but I'm looking <laughs> at this beautiful bright woman here who's blessed. But thanks again, Azania. It's always wonderful to see you. I really appreciate your time. And we're looking forward to and seeing you. And thank you, South Africa. Yes. Love you to death. Yes, and she does. So yep. She does. My heart is here. My head might be that side. But and your my body heart might be here, but yep. your heart is That's here. That's right. Your soul is here. <laughs> wow. So this coming, uh, what, Thursday? Thursday. It's going to be Thursday evening. The mm. Houting High Impact Leadership Summit will be taking place. And that's where Mama Felicia Mabuza Sattel will be honored. Last year, they honored entrepreneur Dr. Richard Maponya. And I think this is a great element to what they do so that we can honor those that have contributed, that have impacted our society. Yeah. Honor us before we die. Here. That's it. Honor us before we leave. Mm. And thanks to Simpua Ma- I knew said Majola, he'll, he'll be so happy. <laughs> St. Pua Masiza, really, for him as a young man to really recognize legends of his time mm, mm, is amazing. Mm, mm, mm. It's going to be a wonderful occasion. Mm. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. And St. Pua Majola has been running me all over the town. <laughs> so right that's there. why he's excited to hear his name here. <laughs> but again, thank you, St. Pua Masiza. Absolutely. <laughs> Correction. I like that. <laughs>